Hey, welcome back. So for those of you who've been following along, you know with the model, uh, last time we flew, we decided we needed to have a larger elevator um, and a larger foreplane. So we've been working on getting that replaced, and so now we have it on the model. And uh, yesterday we went out uh, to fly it, see how it was going to behave. We also moved the CG back a little bit. Still concerned about the winglets though because, you know, we were seeing that there was some Dutch roll tendency last time we flew it and we really think we're going to be putting larger ones on here soon. Uh, so anyway, basically came off the ground really quick here, as you can see, and probably quicker than we thought because Jeff was actually just preparing to taxi it. So um, kind of had the feeling that the CG was too far back on the takeoff here. Um, or the new um, elevator and foreplane was performing better than expected, so we still need to do some tuning and stuff on that. Uh, so anyway, um, Jeff did a couple of passes around here, and you can so see you it's, still it's looking pretty nice yeah, up there. Kind of like it. Unfortunately, my uh, buddy Ryan wasn't available to do video for us this time, so I had to film it with a little handy cam, so the quality is not as good as we had last time. That's hands off. So here's a little flyby here. Looking pretty nice. And then Jeff decided to do one more flyby. A little close up this time. It's looking really good. It's flying really well um, in normal flight, stable and everything. But as you're going to see here, coming around for the landing. The, um, it's definitely not stable yet in slow flight. It's getting a Dutch roll tendency where the ring, wings are rocking um, left and right, and that's purely because there's not enough winglet. So we're going to be increasing the winglet size probably by about 20 to 30 percent, um, if not a little bit more. So that'll be the winglets and the rudder, and the rudder is on both sides. And I think. Next time we fly it, we'll probably have the CG just a little bit more forward of where it is so it doesn't come off the ground as quick. Um, but we're also going to be spending less time on the model now because we want to move in, you know, now that we've got it flying and we're comfortable that, you know, that the prototype's going to fly fine. Um, we're going to want to continue production on that. So you're not going to see the whole landing here because there was a bit of a bounce and stuff, but the aircraft is in good shape and ready for another flight once we put in larger winglets on it. So stay tuned.